Tonight, the mayor of New Britain held her state of the city and proudly said the state of that city is stronger than ever before. This is actually Mayor Aaron Stewart's ninth year in office there in New Britain. Let's go to Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Christian Colon, who attended that meeting tonight and has more on what her plans are for this year. Christian. Yeah, the mayor wants to make the tax cuts the city passed last year permanent. She also talked about free Wi-Fi projects and to continue to beautify the city, but some residents wanted more. Tonight, Mayor Aaron Stewart gave her ninth state of the city address. She ensured the common council the city was being run by compassionate and strong hands. Success for New Britain must be focused in five key areas. Institutionalizing progress, investing in ourselves, strategic economic development, fiscal restraint and taxpayer protection, and a commitment to bipartisanship. Stewart says she wants to continue working with the addiction and homeless needs, provide a low-cost internet service for residents, and when it comes to saving, the mayor brought up the 2% tax cuts passed last year. A constant and fierce commitment to fiscal responsibility allowed us to lower the tax rate last year for the first time in nearly 15 years, putting much-needed income back into the pockets of our citizens. And I hope that with the help of this body, we'll be able to make that tax reduction permanent this year. But some attendees want more, like resident Candace Scott, who is also on the Board of Assessment Appeals. She says some people are getting water bills with dramatic spikes in prices and urges the city to investigate. We do know about an elderly woman who is basically not able to live in her home because of her water bill. <laughs> and so I just think that people should not have to lose their homes because of their water bill. We need to have better regulation over this. And Victoria doesn't want us to forget about the war. The Ukrainian New Britain resident wants the city to work with refugees. It would be great if uh, we can accept people from Ukraine. Because a lot of people uh, from Ukraine that doesn't have um, relatives, for example, but we have friends and we would, um, we would be glad to invite them here, to give them um, just home, for example. And it is a historic time as everyone is feeling the impact of the war tonight at the meeting. New Britain passed a resolution which states they support the independence, sovereignty and integrity of Ukraine. In the newsroom tonight, Christian Colon, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Christian, thank you very much. All new tonight at 11.